So guys, it's Yorkie Man, obviously, as you're watching my channel, and it's time to continue our journey. And, uh, watching even more footage on this game just really gave me even more incentive to play it. It's, it's crazy how good, um, you know, how, how much change they can make with just an expansion, and, and how much more they can improve a game with just an expansion. And, um... I've, I've noticed in a lot of people's playthroughs the benefits of of working on your economy and not being so quick to uh, to go to war. So that is is kind of our plan to work on trade routes and stuff like that, and to be pretty friendly uh, at the start. And I know that's not usually um, my style. Um, but this is the you know the opinion I'm getting from other people who are, who are playing the game. This is a great way to go about it. And being Montezuma, you would assume that being very aggressive is probably going to work out for you. But uh, no, I'm I'm going uh, along the non-aggressive route. <coughs> ah, so they've pillaged that. So we're down to a minimal amount of happiness. You bastards. Let's get them. Nearly finish them off. Um... I don't think they'll uh they would bother attacking. I'm really annoyed that they've pillaged those gems. That's these this guy dead. Should be this guy dead as well. Yes. So after we built this farm straight back to uh to get those gems back to fix that tile. Actually I think it's more important to get those gems back as soon as possible. Yeah. Ended the classical era already. Even brute beasts and wandering. So we've now got trapping. We're just gonna kind of sidestep them. This is the culture overview, overview, which I'm seeing a lot of. To track and manage your culture and tourism, you can move your great works from building to building as well. Okay, so building great works apparently is pretty. Uh, happens if I click on that. What what is that? Um, what does that do? <laughs> does it do if I highlight them you know what I mean um, I've got the great library does that mean that somebody works it let's, let's go on let's just click on that see what it does so this seems to be the end down there so I think this is our island now I think this is where we are for the remainder of this well for the start of this playthrough this is our island and I think the most uh, troublesome are going to be the Persians. Definitely going to be the Persians. But uh, as you can see here, um, the Egyptians seem very rash to uh, move. And now I, I think three cities at the start is enough. And I think another one up here. Because there's so much great things, iron, stone, you know, I'm not actually on any iron at the minute. So that means when it comes to a point where we have swordmen and, and whatnot, but the iron's going to be absolutely useless to me. Hmm. Ah, so I forgot about that. I am actually in the, uh, the classical era already. I think this culture... It's kind of the way I'm looking to go. Great works of Ryan Slots. 
Writers Guild, Pantheon, and we've got the Oracle, I do like the Oracle, National College, and Temple. Hmm. Could do with a quarry though. I hate it when you can <laughs> get stuck in this kind of position and I really don't know what to choose. Um I mean sailing would be great as well. Um especially for the fishing boats, but I don't think I need them until I go and settle further up. Uh philosophy. I think philosophy is the way to go. Yeah. I'm gonna go philosophy. I don't know if I feel vulnerable or not yet though. Well, usually at this point in the game I've got my units out. Because, you know, I'm I'm worried. See, here would be good. Purely because of this... Uh, this wine. But that's a, you know, that, that's a big gap. Don't like leaving that sort of a gap, really. So we're making gold again, plus four, which is um, you know, which was that downfall. Like, oh, so down here has just massively caught my attention. If I could sell a city, probably there. Yeah, I know it's probably going to piss Egypt and Persia off, but third, and fourth. But you see, because there's no happiness resources up there, but it makes up for that because there's two that I'm going to get down here. Yeah, that is certainly uh, the way we're going to go. Uh, so I'm going to scope out around here to make sure that nobody is uh, is, is taking that. Uh, so we'll go back and, and finish that off. I mean, we've still got marble down here, but it requires masonry, which we're not quite at yet. Um, granary and then settler. I feel. I feel that's going to be the move. And then I really want to start getting some form of trade down. Um, yeah, definitely need some some form of trade. Oh, so you guys in the UK who got this game, did any of you get um, a free copy of Civ Four? Because I uh, I got a message on Steam, and I got a free copy of Civ so Four, and um, you know I wasn't too impressed because you would have thought that they'd have the knowledge, the fact that I already out I own Civ Four and all the expansions and everything, so them giving me Civ Four was you know, useless to me. Um, it was quite frustrating as well that. Uh, they didn't give me something else that was better. I mean, it, it's it's. To me, it's absolutely amazing um, how they did that. It, re it really annoyed me, and I, I'm, I am. I don't do it often, but I'm going to make a video log on on how pissed off I am at that. Oh, because that did annoy me. Ooh. Just want to watch where they're going to settle this city. I would imagine it's going to be around here. We have six turns until that settler. Oh. How much does it cost to outright buy a settler? 500, no chance. It's a bit of a shame. Bit of a shame, definitely. Hmm. Just keep attacking. Let's get rid of that encampment. They seem to be going this way, so maybe they're going up here for the truffles and stuff, which is cool. They can go that way. <coughs> yeah, they seem to be moving up. Hopefully they're not going to take my spot. 
Oh, Jesus. Should kill them and then I suppose if we're in there we should be safe. Uh, if we've taken out the encampment, we've received some gold. So I'm going to get this, uh, let this scout just uh, deal with. Oh, okay. So they're trading with Persia now already. That's going to up their gold. I know we'd like to get some trade done very soon. It's quite frustrating that we've uh, we've not got any. But three turns, guys, three turns, and we we can get the spot that we. Ah no! Don't move that way. Oh, stay alive. It's fine. need to keep my eye on what these guys are doing a spearman should be strong enough to take them out it's two turns as well before we can get down there ah uh, that's the way they're going isn't it they're probably gonna settle exactly and I can't risk um, war let's keep following them should, will this kill them completely? This maybe. I mean, the spearmen against the archers should be very close to completely killing them. Yeah. I mean, I can hope that this barbarian brute can slow him down. But uh, okay. So if we're quick, we can get this spot. And we can rush and buy the ta- oh. So we might still, we might still, if we're quick enough, be able to settle down here. I think we might be quick enough, you know. Be very quick. We're gonna get another caravan because we wanna we wanna start that uh, some trade up again. Seems very beneficial to have good trade. Jesus, they've teamed up together to cause me some severe damage. This scout Charlie will take him out. Go on, scouts. Yes. Good sign. So we're really gonna have to rush by the the wine. If I can get the furs and the wine, it just seems like a massive uh, strategic boost to have that. So we're gonna kill these archers as well. Go on, scouts. Right, so we've, we've done our bit there. We are, we're moving quite well in that direction. I'm, you know, I'm a bit tentative. Oh no! They're gonna go and settle where we wanted as well. Um, that's frustrating. So we're gonna at least get the furs and the second gems. See, this island is very cramped. The the food here seems very poor, so I'm going to go with a granary. There is only one yes. Knowledge. So we're going to try and build the National College. Can I still found one there? Adopt a policy. So every city you own connected to the capital. City you found will increase the culture cost of will increase the culture cost of policies by thirty three percent less than normal. Also starts a golden age. 
Brilliant. 10 turn Golden Age as well. It's very, very good. Roads would be nice. I don't think we need them at the minute. So we're going to get Masonry. Because I want Quarry so that I can get that um, marble. We're really going to piss Egypt off doing this. Yeah, we're really going to piss them off. And they have sailed up there, I believe. I think... Um, set up a trade route again. We could do it to ourselves. Plus four food per turn. So you get plus two and we get plus one. That's not really beneficial for us. Um, we, we, we're going to trade with the Persians. So hopefully next time we can settle there. I mean this city is very strong. National College is uh, all the libraries, isn't it? Oracle. The Oracle is what we want. 15 turns. How happy are those walls hey, Masonry. Masonry is done. This scout has become a little bit obsolete now. So we can't find the city there, which is frustrating. Uh, so we're going to have to go there and, and found it there. So, the tough choice of what to take. I don't really need sailing. I'm not in any position for sailing. Get the wheel because we do want to get mathematics and uh, currency, you know, quite soon. I mean, it's not as much as a rush anymore because you can do the whole trade route situation. So it's not like quickly, you know, we've got to get some form of currency. So I'm going to keep these units around this city because I know it's going to piss them off. Um, this guy really can't do anything now. Let's leave him on alert. So let's found the city. And the fur. Something we can get. Can we rush by that? Nah, we can't. Can we? Ah, oh, yes. So we managed it. That looks like a dick. But we managed to get the the wine and the furs, and that is uh, well, that's a, an unbelievable move for us. We're gonna do what we always do, and we're gonna go with monument first and keep that culture up. And we're just gonna try and keep the peace with Egypt, even though we're very close to Egypt, and we've just taken probably what they wanted. They now actually have a sea, which they're not even surrounded by anything they really want. Um, but yeah, that is very lucky. I'm actually going to bring my scout up here because I want to see if they did settle that city up there. But that's happy days for us. The temple, Pantheon's been built. But no oracle yet. No oracle as of yet. So we're okay at the minute. But we need to, we're going to have, we've got quarry now. So must have done that mine. I'm going to shoot straight down here and get the marble just for that happiness. And I, I suppose a circus wouldn't be too bad. Apologies, we won't be flying from settling near you in the future. Yeah, that's the way we want to be. We're not going to play too much like Montezuma. We're going to be like, oh, I couldn't give a shit. See, we're sixth in the list for units. We've really not, even though we can, we, our science is probably better than everybody else, and we've got strong units. We've really not focused on on units at all. 
can upgrade him to a swordsman once I get iron, so... I think I'm going to do that. But let's get down to this quarry first. And relations with Ragusa should improve once we start trading with them again. You want catapults? I don't intend to build any. Um, it's very difficult. Well, the Pantheon has been built. So this isn't as important as it was, but theology would be good for kind of the, the route we're going down. Stable. Circus Maximus. That would be good. And you have to have a Colosseum in every city. There's no point getting that until we've got construction, which Colosseum will be happily had. Hmm. <sighs> so we're just going to leave you in here awaiting. I've not seen anybody else with any, any upgraded troops apart from the chariot archers. And I know now that Egypt are going to keep well scouted um, on me. Alright, so let's get this marble to improve our happiness again. Because um, when our cities pop again, I mean, we're going to go minus one happiness in a turn. Yeah, so we've got it already. Uh, but the fact that we're going to be able to get the Colosseum soon, and then we have two means of happiness down here, which is the fur and the wine. Uh... I'm not too worried. The culture is 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 really probably the main the main thing I want to keep, you know, rolling over really well. And we're out of the golden age and we're actually making twelve gold. So in terms of gold we're doing very well. Construction done now. So our science seems to be booming, and yes, they did get that city up here. But they've not gained iron from it, so we've got iron. But I do feel that... One, two, three... I do feel that I need a city uh, which is by the sea. I don't have anything by the sea. It's probably a little mistake. Can I do... One, two, three... So I could probably sell one around here and have one by the sea. Just getting naval units is going to be impossible. Which is, uh, it's, it's going to be frustrating. Yeah, none of them are, are, are by the sea. Jews research. Hmm. I, don't, I, I wanted, uh, this. Because I'm going to get the Circus Maximus, which is a Colosseum in all cities. So I've only got three cities, so it's probably the best time to do that. And obviously the National College as well is probably the best time because it's quicker to get libraries. That's my timer. It's quicker to get libraries in um, three cities than it is in, in tons more. So we figured out that. I think the Scout's uh, obsolete now. I may get rid of it. So we'll just do the next turn. Yeah, so we'll call it quits for this. We're just going to sell this scout. I don't need him anymore. Uh, we're going to call it quits for now. What I'm going to do to try and keep efforts with uh, Egypt as, as, you know, to keep them as happy as possible is to start a trade route with them as soon as possible. Um, in fact, I wonder if I can buy a caravan now. Oh, so they cost 3 dollars I'm not too far off. I may just, uh, in the end, buy one of them. But, uh, yeah, so that's it for this episode, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.